Hey guys, and welcome back to Front Mission First, when we last left off. Uh, I did say I was going to level everybody up to level 5 in the arena, and we're going to buy everybody the best gear, and we have indeed done that. We're rocking some fairly mediocre wanzas at the moment. I also made everybody the white colour scheme, because I think it pops a little bit better on screen. Uh, might help people like see a little bit because I know there's a couple of people out there that have vision issues so I'm thinking that might help um, yeah so pretty mid spec I mean it is what it is we're still very very much in the early game ah talking of the early game one thing I should probably do is take Frederick's rocket launcher off him um I'm going to go to weapons, and it's the right shoulder. Yeah, take the egret off him. Give him back the bone. And, of course, we'll give Shrike the uh, awesome ass-kicking rocket launcher. I mean, eventually we'll all have egrets, so it won't be an issue. And eventually, egrets are going to be so weak and useless, we're not even going to remember them. But for now, it's pretty good. Anyway, let's... Uh, did we go to the bar in the last episode? Barzilla, we did. So let's go military ward and see what's going. An OCU supply convoy is currently en route to Mensa. Your mission is to escort this convoy until it reaches its destination. Isn't that the army's job? How much are we getting paid for this? The army has its hands full clearing the surrounding area of state's units. You'll get paid well enough, Keith. The army's offering a $7,000 reward if the convoy safely reaches Mensa. Okay. Now, I like uh, the trucks. They've radically redesigned the trucks in this game. They kind of look like weird little... I don't know what the hell they look like. They've got these strange wheels that I assume is how they can drive up almost sheer cliffs. Um, and they have these weird containers strapped to the back at a strange angle. Yeah. In the original game, they just look like normal transport trucks. But, yeah, they went a little bit weird with this one, but that's fine. Anyway, so our ace pilot is level 5. We're all level 5. Their best pilot is level 3. Uh, not a huge difference between the two. But, let's go. Let's get ready to rumble. Convoy protection, eh? Yuck. Nobody likes an escort mission. However, to be fair, this one's pretty good. We should be okay. Hey, Peewee. Word is that this area is crawling with statesman wanzas. Y you're just trying to scare me, right? <laughs> Don't worry. We have some highly paid mercs escorting us today. But won't they run away when things look bad? Ha! They've got a little more fortitude than you, Peewee. They... Yeah. <laughs> Heads up, we have multiple contacts. 7, 9 and 12 o'clock. Alright. Let's go. Ah, uh, looks like the whole damn party's here. That's fine. Now these trucks that we're protecting, they're reasonably tough to be honest so there's no worries there let's take the whole gang you're in the lead come in me, me, me? yes sir peewee's such a strange character move the convoy into the woods to your right stay there until the fighting's over got that y yes sir please save us what i mean <laughs> I'm trying to work out his character, like, I, I don't know what's going on with him. I, he's got, like, one eye shut. He's got, a like, dinner plate for a face. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with his character model. Like, some people look like normal humans, kind of. And some people look like Jabba the Hutt. And, well, Pee Wee is one of the unfortunate ones. Anyway. Right, let's move up. So these guys are going to take a detour into the jungle. So we're, we just want to hold fire, really. 
I'm just gonna form a protective net around these guys. Get a couple of dudes up front. Should be able to handle the incoming mechs. And then these guys should be able to handle the ones coming from the top. Hopefully. Don't want to move them too far away. Like I say, these um, these transport trucks, they can take a hit or two. And they are armed as well, which is quite nice. So they can rattle back with that machine gun that they have. And it's, it's not bad at this level, you know. They can destroy an enemy Wanza that's attacking them, which is fun. Alright, here we go. Hopefully you get some enemies in missile range. I see. You're going to try and sneak into the trees. Nope, they're going to come straight down the road. Fair enough. Alright, we should be able to catch these guys off guard. Now, as, as a rule, as we've already discussed, I don't like splitting my forces too much if I can help it. But... This is one of those uh, levels where you don't have a lot of choice. He's an attacker. Now, this is why we load everybody in our team up with missiles. Because as the enemy are racing towards us, we can just open up with salvo after salvo of um, concentrated rocket fire. And it can make a nice little difference here. All right, we'll open up on the missile with the bones. Oh, yes. Now, obviously, you do open yourself up to incoming fire of your own, but, you know, it's fine. We should be able to take a hit or ten. couple of salvos, especially to start off with in the early game, should be enough as long as the missiles hit to basically decimate the enemy incoming. Now, this is going to be a little bit more questionable. But that's okay. So we've got an attacker there. We're going to go for the Missilers. Missilers are more of a priority. <laughs> He's had enough already. Almost. Jesus. Alright. You know what? Um, let's go there. I mean, the attacker is not too much of a problem. Because the attacker has to get close to us. Which will open him up for a counter-attack straight away. Now, that missile has been um, stripped of his, well, missiles, so he's useless. So, what is this guy? This guy's another attacker. That's cool. So, what we'll do, we'll form up and give him a salvo. Well, we only hit him with one, but he's kind of bricked, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I forgot these guys move up just a little bit. That's okay. We've got another squad coming in from uh, the north there, but that's fine. There ain't going to be a lot left of these guys. The Missler is the only real threat we had there, and he's done. JJ, you're supposed to hit, man. I don't know what you're trying to do. you got nothing left, son. Alright, looks like these guys are all attackers. They will try and go for the um, trucks, which is fine, because they're going to waste their turn going for the trucks. Uh, you know what? I am going to continue volleying rockets at them, you know? How much health does he have? Oh, he doesn't have much. You know what? Let's save the rockets for now. We're going to move in. Go for some short range action. Oof. Yeah, not great. To start off with, yeah, rocket launcher uh, or your machine guns really apparently suck. Which I kind of forgot about, to be honest. Alright, that's fine. Rockets for the early game. Well, he's now completely stitched because he has no weapons, which is just what we want. Send a volley his way. Oh, he's nearly knackered, which is good. That guy is armless. <laughs> if they're armless, they're harmless. Remember that. Uh, so we have an attacker there. You know what? You just volley your rockets at the guys. There we go. And hopefully hit something. Preferably something useful. You know, I don't know who I am to judge, but if we could hit some vitals. Yep, that'll do it. 
Not bad, JJ. We got a Willy rifle, which might be better than what we've got. I'm not 100% sure. Frederick, send it. Uh, I mean, you took his legs out, which isn't really that useful, but whatever. That's fine. Alright, it looks like the commander is going to join the combat. Those two aren't moving down, which is fine. Alright, we've got some... No, please! Ah! Help! It's alright, Peewee. It's alright, lad. You're going to be fine. Oh, he's moving on. He knows he's useless. Alright, that's cool. Uh, well... You know, we're just going to continue lighting these guys up. Ah, see, the thing is, I'm kind of concerned. Well, no, he's not going to attack anything because he can't. I was going to say I'm sort of concerned uh, about him being killed by one of the trucks, in which case we'll lose the experience, but I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. Right, hit him with the bone. Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh yeah. Right, so we've got the commander coming down. Uh, you know what? Light him up with the missiles. Commanders are generally much stronger, but not, you know, amazingly so. Uh, let's scratch this guy if we can. Yep, good enough. He's useless. He's armless, so we're not going to worry about him. He's still got a bit of fight in him. Let's see if we can't fix that. Oof, okay. Could have been better, not going to lie. Get some rockets in there, come on. Fuck him up! That's not good. Frederick. Take him down, please. Yes, there we go. He's covered wars, you know. Alright, not bad. We'll take it. Alright, he's actually going to try and engage us. That's fine. Oof. Oh, there we go, Ryuji. Not bad, buddy. Not bad. Now, it's dangerous attacking enemies in this game. Because they do get that return fire. And they can ruin your day when you just try and do something as innocent as uh, attacking the enemy. They really can mess you up. So you kind of have to get the damage in first. Oh, nice. Peewee is proving that he does have a little bit of bite to him. All right, let's see. I'm pretty f fucked up here myself, actually. Uh, that guy's still active. We got... Oh, we haven't even used the egret yet. We've been using the bone. That's right. We got one salvo left in the bone. Give it to him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. good night, sweet prince. Got some zenith legs there. Not sure they're going to be that useful. Uh, what's this guy working with? Not much, actually. All right. This guy is still fully operational, which is not fantastic. So let's send some rounds his way. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Missiles are absolutely savage. Especially in the early game. Uh, you know what? Uh, Natalie, finish him off if you can. There we go. Just to get that experience. And it clears him from the board as well. We've got repair for that as well. That's nice. Now, what's going on over here? Alright. Actually, we've got the situation kind of under control here. So, let's clear the board. Keith. Need to do better than that, brother. Alright, let's see what this rifle can do. Well, took his legs out, I guess. I mean, sure, that's a thing. What else can we do? Come on, Fred. Yes! Fred's the MVP. Not bad, Fred. Not bad. Alright, looks like we've got the situation under control. Right, these two are moving in. That's fine. We, we can definitely hold the line here now. <laughs> oh, he's not, is he? Right, what I might actually do... I might chug a repair. Really don't want to go down, to be honest. Um, send some rockets his way. See if you can't take him out 
Ah, oh, come on. Ryuji. Right, Nat, you're up. Make this count. We are running out of rockets here. Once you're out of rockets, you're out of rockets. Um, later on, we can resupply and reload. But it is a very time-consuming process. But it's worth it. Because rockets, if used in large quantities, you have to use them in large quantities. Because, you know, quite a lot of them are going to miss. But if you use them in large quantities, uh, they really can soften the targets up. You're probably dead. <sighs> He's not. Okay. I thought he was actually going to get destroyed. You know what? Let's see if we can't circle around. Wipe him out with the grave. Yes. Souls for the Empire. Excellent. Alright, everybody move up. Let's wait for these guys to get into missile range. I don't know, actually. Who's got some missiles? These guys have got missiles. He's got one full pack. Doesn't anybody have any missiles left? I think we're okay, actually. Yep, he's got three salvos left. He has three salvos left as well. Lovely. <laughs> they might not actually get close to us, to be honest. They are armed with missiles themselves, though, I believe. Pretty sure on their character model. Um, whether they're going to use them, though. Uh, you know what? Ah, see, I've got the egret. So you know what, let's just go up here. Right, we should be able to move into missile range. Yep. Hit him! Ooh! That's his last pack. They do actually have missiles. Now I believe... Yes! Ryuji is now Winchestered. All missiles have been fired. It's fine. Let's soften this guy up before he gets close. Keith, make it happen. Or not. <laughs> I guess we didn't move him into missile range. That's fine. Alright. Let's get that bone singing. Oh, JJ. What are you shooting at, brother? Alright, Fred. Come on. Don't let the side down. Alright, not bad. We've disabled one of his arms. Which I'll... I guess I'll take. Right, incoming missiles. This could potentially be painful, but there's only going to be two of them. Ooh, they got two varieties of missiles, though. Nice, JJ. Those uh, spicy moves of his have uh, actually helped out quite a bit. Right, we're not going to move him yet. We're going to move him first. Alright, let's get into close combat. Alright, that'll do. Not bad. Not bad. We've almost taken out his left arm. Uh, Natalie? Send a volley his way. This is your last salvo, I think. Oh, nice. Well, she's rendered him useless. So that'll work. That will work indeed. Right, Keith. I want you to move up. Can you? Yes, you can now target him. Three salvos left. Let loose the missiles. Excellent. One arm disabled already. Right. JJ, send it. Oh, JJ. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so we've got Frederick. Frederick is a bit of a demon in this thing. So. Let's send another rain of missiles. Alright, I mean... He's hanging on in there, but he's pretty messed up. Uh, we can actually get rounds on with the egret. All right, send him. Yeah, he's had enough. He's gone. He's dust. Not bad, man. Not bad. All right, well. I don't think we have anything to fear from this guy. Hey, we're getting some good levels here as well. Very nice. Right, uh, if I move a little bit closer... Uh, who... 
You're level six. I hate the way it doesn't tell you like, oh yeah, it does, the overall level. Right, Keith, you're level five. Can you go in for the kill, brother? Nah, not really. You'll get some XP for that though. You do want to try and share your levels out the best you can. Level seven, oof. All right, well, everybody's like at least. All right. Yeah, everybody is at least level um, six, so that's fine. I think everyone's out of missiles, though. That's why they can't really do much. Ah, you still have some missiles. Go on, JJ. Well, you didn't make the kill, but you rendered them useless. So, I guess there's points there for something. Nice, Fred. Not bad. Yeah, so in the early game, you'll notice that you will rapidly build up your missile skill. Because you're going to rely heavily on it. Because your main weapons are so useless and weak. But, once you get to the mid game, in the late game, that will start... Oh, nice. We can hit him. That will start leveling out. Oh, ho, ho. Not bad. See you in hell. Alright, we win this one. Phew! I didn't think I'd make it. The damage to the convoy is minimal. You'll get your bonus. Now get to Mensa. Or Menasa. We are going to Menasa. So we get a nice fat 7 G's for that, which isn't too shabby. So we got nearly 10k for that mission. I believe, yes, you get extra money if all the trucks survive, I think. I've never lost a truck, so I don't know. <clears throat> right. I suppose, you, yeah. Menasa. Or Minasa. Who knows? Dyslexia. Is a blessing and a curse. Can't actually think of why it'd be a blessing, but whatever. All right, let's head into town. So let's have a little peep. Should we just hit the bar? Minstrel. Ah. The OCU Army's HQ is in the city. That's why you see so many uniforms in this establishment. Adler. You, a soldier, boy, or are you just playing soldier? Because all I see is some dumb kid trying to be a hero. Go back to your mama, boy. Huffman's no place for kids like you. Uh, I my, don't allow my looks to um, sully your reputation of me, sir. I am the stone cold killer. Come on, Royd. We have better things to do than entertain old washouts. Are you calling me a washout girl? Come back here and say that to my face. You hear me? <laughs> yes. Woozy Ad Adler. Well, we'll see him a little bit later on. Adler wasn't always like this. He used to be the nicest man you'd ever meet, but he lost his son in the first few days of the war. He's never been the same since. Hmm. All that pent-up hatred. Seems like the kind of guy that we want on our team. All right, well, there's not a lot we can do about that now, so let's exit. Right, I'm going to drop a save here, guys. Uh, actually, before I drop a save, let's see. We're in a new town now, which means new equipment. Um, so let's see what they actually have for us. Oi, what can I do for you? Well, uh, we're not going to sell, but we can talk. You hear about uh, Sakata Industries' new BD series of CPUs? The rumor mill says it doubles the response and performance of any Wanzer it's installed in. BD, eh? Hmm. Keep that in your in your memory. BD series of CPUs. Hmm. Pretty sure that will become uh, crucial later on. Right. So let's go to setup and see what we can buy. So, parts, body, yep, we can get bigger, more powerful machines. Ah, the Husky, the Husky Mark IV. This thing is quite the freaking unit, to be honest. Now, 
technically that can carry a lot more weight, but it's a lot weaker. Significantly weaker. Lower defense and hit points. So we're going to be rolling with the Husky Mark IV. Overweight? No! Say it ain't so, but we can get the Chipmunk backpack. And now, these backpacks, they always add weight, but they add power. And they always add, I think it's double the power to the weight they add. So they're always worth putting on. So basically, backpacks are power units. And power units means you can carry more weight. So we're going to grab that. That looks like a chunky boy. I like it. But we're going to go for... We're going to go for this bad boy. Husky Mark IV. And I'm guessing... See, that really increases our hit points. And it's light as well. But the Husky Mark IV has more defense, more armor. And it does still increase our hit as well. So we're going to go for the Husky Mark IV. It looks like we're going to be going for a complete Husky unit by the look of things. Yep, going to be a complete Husky unit. And can we do... Ah, look at that. Yeah, the Meteor CPU is a plus in every skill. Nice. So, that's what we're going to be going with for everybody. We're going to be going with the complete Husky Mark IV shell and weapons. What weapons do we have? So, we have new weapons here as well. Okay. So, we've got the Ibis rifle. The Glow Tusk rifle as well. It's kind of interesting that you can get the Glow Tusk because the Ibis is just better. And you get it at the same time, so no real point. You also get the um, Congri as well. Now we can actually start getting the Pat 50, which looks like a um, MP40. It uh, pleases me greatly to see that. So we're going to upgrade these guys to Pat 50s. Sure. So if they've got, if they're using um, MGs, they're going to get PAP 50s. If they're using rifles, they will be getting the Ibis rifle because it's just better than all the others. Now we can upgrade. We actually can't upgrade to the Galvados, which is a shame because we're over our weight limit. But the bone is okay we can't even fit actually we might not be able to fit a bone on roid because he's already got the egret let's try quickly re-equip everybody quite often you have to buy the backpack first so let's rebuild everybody Let's go for that. Legs and the husky as well. CPU, meteor. Right, we've got the backpack. So, can we? Right, this guy needs two Ibis rifles. Technically, what we could do is get rid of one of the rifles, and that will save us um, a decent amount of weight. The only trouble is it's a toss up. Do you throw away your short range infinite ammo weapon? Uh, a backup infinite ammo weapon or do you take another limited ammo long range weapon uh, personally I go for the uh, small arms first long range weapons are great they're a great option in my opinion but I wouldn't pick one over over your yeah, handguns so we're gonna go for two of this and the reason you always have two of them is if one gets disabled they still have the other no so even he well See, the Galvados actually, um, per missile, does less damage, but it fires three of them. So if you can hit with all three rockets, it's quite nice. Now, this is something that bugs me as well with the visual design of the game. So the Galvados is a two-tube weapon, but it fires three rockets, right? 
The bone is a six tube weapon, but it fires two rockets. Yeah, just little design inconsistencies do kind of trigger me a little bit. I mean, it's not bad. It's fine. It's a video game. But yeah, little details like that. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to go re-equip everybody else and then I will meet you guys back here in the next video. So thank you very much for watching guys and as always, till next time.